Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back to part six in creating a hash table in C++. So in the last tutorial, we just uh, finished defining the constructor for our hash class. And so now what we have is we have this hash table, which is an array, and uh, the array elements hold these item pointers. And now our constructor has uh, set up those item pointers, so now they all point to some new item, and those new items have some default values. So that's what our hash table looks like right now. And what we want to do is go ahead and add some more information or some more items to our hash table. So the way we're going to do that here in the public section of our uh, hash class definition in the hash.h file here, we're going to create a new function prototype that's not going to return anything. And it's going to be called add item. And it's going to take in two string variables and one of them we're just going to call name, and the other one we're going to call drink. Because what we're going to do in our hash table is we're going to use it to store the names of people and associate their name with a favorite drink. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and define this add item function in the hash.cpp file now. So here in the hash.cpp file, um, I'm going to type in that it's a void return type, it's not returning anything. And we're going to define it from the hash class. So we put hash colon colon. And I'll just select it here, it recognizes the function prototype that I just typed in. And then opening and closing curly brace. And let's go ahead and define what we want to have happen now when we call this add item function. So the first thing I want it to do is I want it to create a new variable. And it's going to be an integer variable called index. And I want this variable to hold the location in the hash table where I want to store this information. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this hash function that we've already created. And we're going to pass in the name uh, string into that hash function. So the name of the person gets passed into the add item function when it's called. The first thing the add item function does is create this index variable, calls the hash function that we've created, figures out what the uh, index location is that we want to place this information in and stores that number in this index variable. So that's the first thing it's going to do. The next thing we want to do is we want to inspect the bucket in the hash table that is associated with that index. So if we get index 5, for example, we want to look in the fifth bucket or index 5 or bucket 5, however you want to think about it, um, in the hash table and we want to check to see if that is just, if that first element is just this default one that our constructor set up. And if it is, we're going to overwrite that information with name, uh, the name and the drink that was passed into our add item function, since empty is just kind of a placeholder right here. So to check that, we're just going to say if, and then we're going to look at that, that first uh, item. So if that first item in that hash table index, if, uh, it has a name that has the same value as empty, then that's just the uh, that's just the default. Whoops, that's just the default that we uh, created with our constructor. So if that is the case, we're just going to overwrite that information in that first item with the name and drink that was passed into our add item function. So we'll go ahead and copy this, and we'll paste it a couple times. So if that's the case, we're just going to overwrite it and have the name equal the name that was passed into our add item function. And we're going to have the drink be equal to the drink that was passed into the add item function as well. So if that is not the case, that means we've already overwritten that first element in that bucket or in that index of the hash table. And so if that's the case, then we're going to take care of the other situation in this else statement, we're going to add another item to the end of this first item or the second or third, depending on how, how many items we have in this bucket. And so the way we're going to do that is in this else statement, we're going to create a couple item pointers, first of all. And one of them we'll just call PTR for pointer. And we're going to make that initially point to the very first uh, item in that uh, hash table bucket that we want to look at, or the hash table index we want to look at. So hash table index, so we're going to look at that particular index and just kind of have this pointer just point to the beginning of that index for, for right now. 
And then the second item pointer, we're just gonna call that n for new, and we're gonna make it point to a new item. So now we've got this newly created item uh, that's being pointed to by this pointer n here. And so let's go ahead and put some information in this item now. And then when we get that item filled, we'll go ahead and add it to this list that is going to be stored in this hash table index. So let's go ahead and just say that uh, n name is equal to the name that was passed into the add item function. And n drink is the drink value that was passed into the add item function. And then n next equals null. So that initializes this new item now. And uh, so basically what we did here is we're passing in this name and this drink and uh, we're creating this pointer n pointing to this new item. And now we're making that new item hold Oh, sorry, this would say drink right here. So we're making that new item hold the name and the drink that was passed in to the add item function. And uh, we're making the uh, that that new item basically point to nothing. So it's, it's kind of going to be the end of the list here. So now we just need to add this new item to the end of the list that's inside of this hash table index or this hash table bucket that we're adding this information to. So in this else statement here, we're going to go ahead and find the end of the list that's in that bucket currently. And so we're going to say while, um, our pointer is pointing to the, to the beginning of that list. While, the, while our pointer is not pointing, actually we want to look at the next one. While the, the next element is not pointing to null, because this will only happen when we're at the end of the list. So as long as we're, our next element is not nothing, what we're going to do is we're gonna make that pointer advance down the list. So that pointer is going to be equal to that next pointer, pointer arrow next. So this while loop is going to make um, our pointer traverse the list until it gets to the very last item that is in this list stored in this hash table index. So once it's there, now it's, so now once we've exited this while loop, our pointer is now pointing to that last item in that list. And now we're going to link that item to uh, the newly created item that uh, we made up here, that n is pointing to. So we just say pointer arrow next equals n, and that links the uh, last item in that, uh, that list to the newly created item that n is pointing to. So now we've got the add item function complete. And uh, so yeah, that's all done. So we'll go ahead and end the tutorial there and I will continue um, creating this hash table project in part seven, so stay tuned for that. You guys have an excellent day, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.